Central Hospital as well as Southeastern Railway uh, Ophthalmology Department working here. Uh, last year we submitted two videos at the All India Ophthalmological Conference and out of hundreds of videos submitted throughout the country, two were accepted by the jury board for screening. And out of them today uh, we decided to share one of them, one of those two videos with all of you. It will take hardly uh, 13 minutes total, but uh, before understanding the presentation main video, uh, just I want to share whatever surgery we are doing there and what is extra in that video that was presented. So this is only a simple echo simplification and I will instruct procedure that we... That we regularly practice here. And uh, just let me introduce uh, you steps. The usual and in pre wound. This, uh, this is around 3 minutes 20 seconds. Local uh, xylo card within the anterior chamber for anesthesia. No regional block, nothing. This surgery is being done just by topical. Uh, and intraocular xylocard. Making an opening on the anterior capsule. This will be around set of opening. One more opening at the side. Delineating the nuclear material from the capsular bag. Rotating and making it free from its attachments, the nucleus. Echo emulsification probe. Making the first tunnel, dividing into two parts. Cracking it and completely dividing, making further more tiny pieces, just like dividing the uh, pie separate uh, chunks of a cake. And now putting it up all the pieces by the USG power as well as suction. Now cleaning the little bit of remaining more uh, cortical substances and leaving the intact cap bag. The complete circular opening of the anterior capsule is nicely visible. Now the IUL implant, actually this is the platform, the posterior capsule on which the intraocular lens supports and it is placed within the bag that has been created by making an opening in the anterior capsule. That round circuit circular opening is visible and the IUL is getting implanted within that bag. So behind the IUL is the posterior capsule and anteriorly at the margin is the anterior capsule and at the center it's a big opening. So the, now this IUL is placed. The, before entering our presentation that was presented, I like to emphasize you that Sometimes during all these phases of surgery, this posterior capsule may get ruptured. So this is the situation when there will be not only an anterior opening as well as there will be an opening on the posterior capsule. 
so there is no support for the intraocular lens to implant. In such a situation, uh, years back we used to leave the eye packing or putting an eye well in the anterior chamber that reduces the optical quality as well as resolution as well as image quality and as well as the long term prognosis of the eye also. But uh, last many years, a technique has been developed by doing a vitrectomy and putting an eye well <coughs> just by the peripheral range support of the capsule that is remnant after the tear of the posterior capsule and recently we are doing a lot of surgeries on those uh, patients, those they are getting referred our divisions and from our neighbor railways also, zonal railway. So getting inspired we decided to present, uh, make one presentation on those uh, surgeries and that was presented in last year on India Ophthalmological Society conference. I just want to uh, show you, share with you, detail the presentation that was accepted in that conference. I am being, I am playing it. A rigid posterior chamber IOL can be effectively fitted by the faithful support of remaining circle of capsular ring. The haptics get accommodated at the ciliary sulcus on either side. A patient of PC rent while trying EC plus IOL. Sixth day after the primary surgery, a direct ophthalmoscopy and USG didn't show any nucleus drop. The aim of anterior vitrectomy here is to reduce the vitreous volume. This is not a FEMO probe. The nibbling type of the instrument is vitrectomy the remnant capsular ring.